Okay, this is a RV video for Dave Watson. Dave, this is the 26RR. We're going to start on the outside and eventually work our way into the inside. So, we order our units with most all of the options. Start off with the tongue jack. This is an electric tongue jack. It also has a light, as you can see, on the front, so for hooking up at night so you can see what you're doing. The knob on the top is removable because it comes with a manual crank in the event that you um, the battery was dead or, or it was kind of jammed or something so you can manually break it loose or crank it up and down manually but most importantly it's electric so that takes a lot of work out of it it's got two 20 pound propane tanks on these cross members here where the batteries mount we're walking around to the other side of the unit this is a connection for solar so had you be dry docking you could get for example a 100 watt solar panel with an already made with an inverter and you'd simply plug it in right there and that would charge uh, keep your battery charged up okay what this is is storage that goes all the way through okay and back underneath the bed in there so an enormous amount of storage in this particular unit okay one of the key things features people sometimes don't pay attention to are the steps all right these steps are upgraded aluminum they're not the folding kind it's simply you simply open the door the door's got to be open all the way reach down and grab it I'll give you an example here and they just go up into the RV and it's got a lock on it right there so it doesn't bounce around while you're on the highway and you just drop them back down that makes things simple this particular unit has <clears throat> outside speakers that are weatherproof and a mount for a television you've got your power for the TV there and your feed there like for cable or satellite dish feed. The unit comes with an electric canopy and across the bottom of that canopy next to the RV itself is an LED light all the way across. The tailgate is spring-loaded, it's lightweight, you can raise it up and down with one hand, no, no problem. Moving along down the side, the other side of this RV, there's a vent for your heater. Here's your 30 amp hookup service, a vent for your air conditioner. Also, it has a shower with hot and cold running water so you can wash off. There's your fresh water connection, fill up your water tank, and your city water connection. Also, it has a wastewater holding tank and sewer connection are combined right all in one, so that makes it real nice. One of the good key fe features on this particular unit is that it has a black tank flush. So in the years past, people had to reach in with a brush and when they were flushing the tank and clean out the commode and try to flush it all through. You don't have to do that anymore. You just hook a water hose on it and just run the whole thing through. There'll be a time when you camp, you camp out and that RV park will offer cable that, for your television. That's where you plug that in. Up here to, at the front is a six gallon propane driven water heater. The average shower usage is about three gallons per shower. Had you run it empty with six gallons, only six gallons of water and propane, it's going to come to full temperature really, really quick. Um, okay, let's move on here. So walk around the side and we're going to step inside. Okay. All right, Dave, I'm going to pan around just a little bit here and give you some idea of what we're looking at. The table, as you see right here, is also spring loaded. That raises up to make like a picnic table. These pads fold out of the way, and the bottom right here where my foot is, that folds up 
against the wall so you can get whatever toys that you want in there. The back, as you can see, we talked about that frame screen right there, you can see. And there is the curtain that you ask about right there. This is the storage, open storage area for things. I guess folks put motorcycle helmets and that sort of thing in there. This is uh, open storage here, dry storage. Okay. It comes with an entertainment center. The entertainment center includes a Furion DVD player with AM FM radio that you can play the music inside the unit, outside the unit, or you can play it both simultaneously. The television mounts right there and you can see the connections for the television. Okay, turning to the kitchen, there is the thermostat for the house. This Nordic automatic icebox here <clears throat> runs on two power sources. One electric when you're plugged in and two it automatically switches to propane so when you leave the campsite everything you have in your refrigerator stays cold and prevents the, the food from spoiling. That's a big key fa factor. This is 1000 watt microwave. Okay, does have a popcorn button and the hood vent has a light in it and a fan that blows that uh, exhausts to the outside of the unit which is a good thing. The it has a three burner propane stove. What that means you don't have to go out and buy any RV pots and pans and spend all that extra money. You can just use any pots and pans that you want. It does come with an oven. Okay, nice size oven. Alright, extra storage all in here. Underneath the sink, storage drawers, two storage drawers. If you look at the sink, Dave, it's stainless steel faucet. That's, that's residential quality stuff. Stainless steel sink. Sink is countersunk below below the countertop. It doesn't have the lip over the edge like that. Those sinks that have a lip are real difficult to keep clean around the edge. This one's not because you don't have that lip. So that's a real added benefit to that. Alright. Just right to the left of the sink yeah, is another power outlet and you have uh, you can check the levels in your tanks for gray black and fresh water you can also check your battery level from this <clears throat> panel right there very easy very very easy okay so now let's look forward here this is the bathroom this is that aqua colored jealousy glass I'm talking about for you to get in and out hopefully your wife uh, can deal with that and I believe uh, that's about the lowest we have I understand the issue on the tub we've had that request many times okay so there is a little shelf above the faucets and then over here away from the shower is your toilet area <clears throat> got shelves there storage behind it okay now we enter the bathroom I mean the bedroom it's a queen-size bedroom bed it has two wardrobes on each side They're really really deep and wide you can get a lot of clothes in there it's got storage above the bed it's got lights that you just reach up every time all the lights in here are LED on each side you have USB connectors and electric if you want to charge your cell phone and that sort of thing. Uh, we do also have in the bedroom we got mounts for televisions. It's already pre-wired. The speaker system throughout everything is pre-wired as well. The air, con the air conditioning system in here is, is a duct type air conditioning system which is much much quieter much quieter 13.5 BTU that's about 1.2 tons of air conditioning for this unit that should be very sufficient uh, in the good old Texas weather here so in the center 
again the skylight keeps things lit up all the lighting in here is LED that doesn't produce heat uh, and LEDs that's a good thing about them they do not burn out so that's just one more issue eliminated with technology okay well that's it again Dave <clears throat> this is Jim Gibbons with Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. We're located on Interstate 10, just west of Katy. You know, we're about, I'd say, probably 25, 30 miles west of Katy. You can call me on my cell phone at any time at 281 802 0630. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.